Okay, it's day 52 of my insanity journey. Today was max interval circuit, or max circuit interval. <laughs> we all know by now that I'm not really good with the names. Okay, um, when I work out, I, I, I hear Sean, but I'm also kind of clearing my mind. I do a lot of prayer. Um, I'm really able to um, uh, kind of ignore what's going on on the screen. I don't. I don't even watch the um, <clears throat> the cast members, to be quite honest. I don't. I don't even watch them. I just kind of go somewhere else. And I was praying today, and I realized that um, in the past two and a half years, I've had some interesting comments, um, and mainly on Facebook because um, I do a lot of business on Facebook. Um, I love social media. And um, I've had people say, I would love um, to do what you're doing, meaning the exercise, not necessarily the coaching. And I say, great, this is how they get started, how to get started. And then the person says, well, I couldn't possibly do that, and it doesn't work. I've actually heard that, <laughs> people telling me to my face it doesn't work. I'm like, okay, but, okay then what is it? What did I do? <laughs> so... Um, I've heard that about Shakeology. I've heard the word um, spam. I've heard the word scam. Um, I've heard them all. And um, here I am, two and a half years later from beginning my journey, um, about to possibly be cast in an infomercial for Beachbody um, because I truly have been through a transform transformation. So... Um, Gosh, this is beginning to sound like I'm trying to defend myself, and I, I'm not trying to say that at all. What I'm trying to say is when you see people make a great change in their life, do you feel like your first response to that is it couldn't possibly be true? Or what are they hiding? Like how did they really do that? It's like we want to doubt someone else's success as opposed to celebrating someone else's success. It's just, it's just, it was just an interesting thought that popped in my mind today. Are you able to look at someone who has gone through a journey that you would like to have yourself, but maybe you're not there yet, but can you, can you look at that person and say, well done. That was fantastic. The other thing I wanted to share with you today is why do I subject myself to these videos every day? Is it because I love to hear myself talk? No. I come on camera every day because that is a mechanism that I use to ensure that I will get my workout in. It's accountability. It's transparency. It's vulnerability. And it has become a habit with me now that as I'm working out, I think, what am I going to say to them today? Yeah. It's a means that I have... Um, it's a means and a tool that I've developed to ensure that I get in the gym because I have to come and talk to you. And that's why challenge groups are so fantastic. And when people aren't checking in with their challenge groups, they're not exercising. I know. Those of you in my challenge groups are like, oh, my gosh, I can't believe you just said that. That was so rude. I do tend to question whether it's happening. And um, so I think we human nature has the tendency to do that when we haven't fulfilled an agreement or um, we haven't come through on something that we said that we would, we tend to hide. We tend to remove ourselves from fellowship or community. So um, I can only assume that when I'm not hearing from people, that's what's happening. So that is why for me, I have built this into my day, true accountability. So it's not a scam and I'm accountable to you. I guess that's really all I wanted to say today. <laughs> Um, have a great day. Tomorrow is day 53. It's actually max cardio recovery and not my favorite. Not my favorite at all. But I will do it and I will tell you about it. Bye.